chances. chances. Yep. I try to be understanding, <laughs> but eventually it got exhausting. So it's interesting because a lot of your guys' exes either A, didn't have the green flags that you guys talked about, or B, had the green flags and you left them anyway. <laughs> so can you act, can you ever really make women happy? No. What do you think? Mm. That's a hard question. I mean, yeah, if you act right, and and also the woman has to act right, she has to play her part too. Okay. So both have to play their parts. Okay. Um, and I guess both just have to be clear and upfront about what they want, and then they have to be real with each other. Well, when men are upfront and say, "I just want sex," you guys call them thirsty. <gasps> Not every female. There's a lot of Majority ladies. Majority of this table literally just said it. <laughs> but there's a lot of... I know a lot of ladies out there that just want hookups. With a guy going up to them and saying, I just want to fuck? If they're attractive enough. <laughs> so. The key word, if they're attractive enough. Yeah. Do you think enough guy, a lot of guys are attractive enough to be able to walk up to women and say that? Probably not. But right. everyone has their own type. Interesting. So. What about you? Do you think women can ever be happy? Um, yeah, I, I've seen happy women in happy relationships. So. How often is that? Oh, man, it's probably like 20%. Okay. I would uh, say even less. But. What about you? What do you think? Do you think women can ever be happy? Because a lot of you guys described green flags. Your ex might have had some of these traits or didn't have them at all, and you guys still picked I mean, them or yes, left them. Yes, if they have a happy marriage. What was that? I, I said yes, if they have a happy uh, happy marriage. Like, I think a woman can be happy if okay. they have, like, a happy marriage, like, a good couples. Okay, what do you think is more important to the happy marriage, the man being happy or the woman being happy? Um, it has to be both. It can't just be one. Like, if men have to know what to do to make a woman happy and women have to know what to do to make a man happy. Do you think that it's possible for a, a woman to be happy in a relationship but the guy be miserable? Mm -mm. No. You don't think so? No. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Lenny Hashkin and his ex-wife. Hello. Okay. Who's that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> is that an Asian guy? The no, Lenny it's guy? Poop God. What? Miami poop doctor. Um, I have no idea. Oh, uh, from the Okay. <laughs> Dr. Miami, so, um, do you think it's possible for a man to be happy in a relationship and his woman not be happy? No. So, wouldn't it be fair to say that it's more important that the man be happy then? Um I don't know. By your own like logic? Said, it had to be both, but it can't just be one, you know? Like, well, I don't you just know. said a second ago, if the man's happy, then the woman's going to be happy. But, but the other way around, it's possible for the man to not be happy and the woman be happy. If the life is miserable, might as well just stay single. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't answer the question. This is a great panel, man. Yeah. Like, <laughs> love you, Chris. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about you? Do you think women can ever be happy? Can never be happy. Can, can ever be like, because it seems to me like we described what the green flags are. Some of these guys ha had them, but you guys still left them. Or the guy didn't have them at all, and you still gave him a chance, and it didn't work. So I mean, I, I honestly think you can be happy without a man or a green panel or a red panel. I feel like if you're so, like, set, there's women that have, like, all these checklists on men, and that's why they're unhappy. Okay. Because, like, you're, you know. Where do you think female fulfillment comes from? I think female fulfillment comes from not having financial distress, having a good group of friends, family, and having fun and enjoying your life. And basically, yeah. When you say family, what do you mean by family? You mean as in like their own children or do you mean like their Whether parents? Whether it's children, parents, aunts, uncles, just having a good support system. And people think that you need to find a man to be happy when majority of these marriages end up in divorce, you know? And a lot of these women may want a man because they want financial support their entire life. So that's why I said financial, like, you know. Do you think more women, if I lined up 100 girls, do you think more of them would be fulfilled by having a career and earning a lot of money and being successful, um, but being single, or having a man and a family and children? And maybe 100% honest is men stress me out. No, so I'm not, I am talking the ha I'm not talking about you. I asked you oh, specifically. Well, I'm, ask I'm if telling I lined you up specifically. Women. If you lined up 100 women yeah. out of my girlfriends and any females I know, I've always seen them the most happiest when they didn't have a guy to stress about. Mm. Or they weren't paranoid. Oh, what? Why didn't he text me? Okay. What are, the, Are once, all your friends entrepreneurs? 
Not all of them. And in your line of, are they all young professionals? No, they're all of all ages. Okay, so where does most of their? What I'm asking isn't necessarily you and your friends. I'm saying in general, women. Do you think more most women would derive pleasure from being single and having a career making money or having a family with a husband and children? That's what I'm asking. I think it just depends on what that person wants. But in general, what would you think would make most women happy? In general, I can't say what makes most people happy. Most I can females. only say what can make me happy. And I'm talking about women. And I am a woman, and I'm. I can't say what most people, because I'm not most people. I'm myself. If you myself. could assume from just being wow. in general here, like yeah. I can tell you what most no, men like. No, I'm just like. saying from my experience is that I am literally happy, and I'm good, and I'm content. And if a man comes into my life and makes it better than it is, okay. But I'm not going out looking for it, and I'm not checklisting a million guys on what their red flags and their green flags are. You complained earlier that your boyfriend, your ex, was a narcissist. Yeah, he was. What you're doing right now is a narcissistic trait. I never said I wasn't a you narcissist. You can't step. I am one too. At least admit it. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> yeah, because I'm, yeah. So you're criticizing someone for the same exact character flaw that you have. Yeah, and that's why I said I go for the opposite. <laughs> Boom, <Bumble card. laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Yeah, because a, a narcissistic trait is actually the inability to um, speak in general generality or, you know, be empathetic to others. Only speaking from your own perspective. That's actually like one of the quintessential narcissistic traits. Probably. Yo, I'll be scared Fantastic. to date you, man. Keep a thousand. <laughs> wow. You're a lot of trouble. Uh, okay. All right. Um, <laughs> a lot of trouble, man. <laughs> Fun, though. <laughs> uh, Agent persuasion, huh? All right. No, can can, can women ever Asian. be happy? I think so. You think so? Yeah. What does it take to make you happy? Um, Stop on our red lights. My ex actually made me happy besides like... Which one? Red light guy or... No, my ex ex. He wasn't my ex. <laughs> um, He actually made me happy. We were good together, but like we... like the old, Why'd the you break bad. up with him then? Because he was like really controlling. It was like... I couldn't How was he do, controlling in particular? I couldn't do anything. Such as? Couldn't go anywhere. Not even Target. I couldn't even go to Target. Like, I couldn't go to the store. And he'd be like, oh, like, oh, I'm going to go with you. And I was like, okay, fine. Like, come. And, like, it was still, like, when we would get there, he'd be like, oh, like, let's hurry up. Let's hurry up. Like, dude, why did you come with me? Like, I'm not doing anything <laughs> wrong. I'm just buying stuff. So what was his reasoning for you not going to Target? <laughs> Nothing. He would think I was, like, I don't know, with someone. Like, I'm at Target. Like. I think Were you I on OnlyFans at the time? No, he actually I started OnlyFans with him. Okay. Oh wow. That's crazy. That's crazy to say. He was so controlling, but he was the one that was like, "Oh, like just do it." Like, you know. Okay. So he turned, he turned you out <laughs> and then left. <laughs> <laughs> did he make more money than you or did you make more money than him? Me. He didn't work. He only he's just a DJ. So, you had a problem with him telling you what to do when you were the breadwinner? Yeah. Damn. So is it really that he was controlling or that you were in control of the finances? Both. Nigga said, I need my cut. <laughs> Truth always comes out, my friend. Yeah. Truth always comes Makes out. Makes sense now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. So you guys were good. It's just that he didn't work. He lived off of you. And he didn't. you said that he didn't let you go outside. Yeah. Not like outside, outside. Like, <laughs> yo, she was his cash cow, basically. He said, "Yo, fuck a DJ. I'm gonna just finish you." <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah. Okay. So he didn't want you going. To, how often would you go to Target? Like weekly. Target for anyone. Target. Was it that he thought you were cheating, or maybe that you were just spending your money ridiculously? Maybe that's what no, it was. No, I wouldn't. I'm really responsible with money. Well, if you're going to Target every week. Yeah, but that's like money that I can spend. That's your budget? Yeah, Target. <laughs> okay, tell us the truth. What? Weekly spend on tar Target. Weekly spend. Not a, like... 500, 1,000, I... no. 100, 200. I try to go to like 100, 150. So that's like... Every time I At go. least 500. I'd love to ask month? him what, what his reasoning was, because she's probably not telling the whole story. Yeah. <laughs> Girls always leave out certain things. Did you like to go to the club and dress provocatively when you went out? 
He yes. didn't care how I dressed. And I would go out with him. At he all? was a DJ. No, he didn't care. No, I'm talking about when he when he wasn't there. No. Since he had such an issue with you going out. I never went out without him. So why are you complaining? Because I couldn't go to Target. <laughs> so you broke wow. up with him because you couldn't go to Target. No. This seems to me like the, the main so thing. So much more. That's like, the thing she keeps naming, though. He was just, like, super controlling on everything. Like, he wanted my Instagram password. He wanted everything. Like, and I, okay, fine. But, like, he would still go to, like, years before him and get mad at me. I'm like, I can't control that. Like, you What'd you do that pissed, that pissed him off years before? I would talk to other people. He wasn't in my life. I didn't, I didn't know him. So he didn't like the other, that you talked to other guys before him? Yeah. The I question is, though, that. were you still conversating with those people yeah. while you were with him? No. No? No. Something out of Something off. Something's off, man. But in any off. case... And he, her friend's smirking. She knows think, something's no, off. I think he was just like... I think we're just too young. He's just crazy. And he is. Like he would show up like when we would like when we broke up, he would like show up to where I was at and like throw a whole show. Like it was just Where would he show up where you were at? At clubs. Mm. But we were already broken up. How do you know where you're at? I don't know. Like well since he's in the <laughs> DJ, like you know, he's in the club like scene. He knows like a whole bunch of people. So oh. they'd be like, Oh, your girl's here and I wasn't his girl anymore. Interesting. So I had to like stay inside for a long, long, long time. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay, then what about you? Can women ever be happy? Yes. Why? Um, Cheeseburgers and fries. Your guy wasn't happy. <laughs> he had a bunch ribs. of, he had a bunch of uh, the traits you wanted, but Taco you weren't happy. Stan. I was them. happy at, I was happy at times, but I wasn't happy when he was like controlling and telling you to not wear a thong on the beach. <laughs> I never wore a thong on the beach. Okay. But that's what you were complaining about earlier. No, like I'm that. just. I was just saying like. It couldn't be of your like. It couldn't be of your like, but like you gotta cover some. Do you think that was a reasonable request? Yeah. So then I did why that. are you complaining about it? I wasn't complaining, but you it. Literally just but it's like, it <laughs> but it's like, come on, like, like it doesn't matter, like. Okay. <laughs> you don't think it matters that your girlfriend is showing her ass cheeks to the whole world? Um. I mean, I wasn't wearing like thong bathing suit, so. I can't imagine her in a bikini, bro. Yeah, you didn't because he had an issue with you wearing it. You don't think it was... You're saying on one end, you're saying it's it reasonable wasn't, for him. It wasn't even like a thong. Like, it was... Just, it's just like how he is. He doesn't even want no one saying. Like, that's it. Plain and simple. Isn't that reasonable, though? Or you yes. don't think so? So then why are you complaining about it if it's reasonable? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it was just like a... Someone never told me that, so I was like... It's too oh, much? Okay. A guy never put No, boundaries? it wasn't too much. But I'm just saying, was it was, it's just time, something that... Was it the first time a guy put boundaries on you? Yeah. You think women need boundaries to be in line? Um, no. No? No. Okay. But you... sometimes, you can't read their mind, so like, obviously... <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, no, but like, sometimes... You can't read their mind, Myron. You can't do that. Do you think, uh, do you think men should put uh, boundaries on their girlfriends? Yes or no? Mm, no okay what about you no no because never mind yeah a little bit a little bit like okay. i think you guys should both set boundaries and see like what you both like and don't like because some people are like i don't like i don't know whose boundaries are more important okay both, both. each other both yeah interesting mm -hmm. What about you? I agree with her. Okay. Well, you yeah. just said a second ago, no boundaries. No, because like... Now you're saying boundaries. Yeah. No, you don't know what you want. Yeah, you huh? said no originally. <laughs> you don't know when what you want. When you're with someone, I do think you guys should both, you know, talk. What boundaries and... should be put on women, you think? Yeah, tell us. To keep the relationship going. I mean, it just depends what he doesn't want you doing or what she doesn't want you doing. In general, what are some general boundaries you think men need to put in place? Um... Where damn, shop? I don't know. I don't think there's general boundaries. I just think like some people prefer different things. I think some people prefer different things. Like, I don't know, like her ex wanted her not to wear thongs, like something so simple. They could have spoken about that and like some things she could be like, okay, fine, like, you know? Well, I mean, there are some general boundaries that men would have though. Like I mean, what? a bunch of the girls here on the panel, you guys all describe the same thing. He didn't want you dressing a certain way, didn't want you going outside. He was paranoid about her cheating. Like, 
her nails were uh, being long, displayed a certain thing. <laughs> so crazy. there's general parameters that men in general want. What do you think those boundaries are? Do you even know? No. How many of you here think you're a wifey type? Raise your hand real quick. This is a very revealing podcast. Wifey? Wifey? <laughs> wifey? To a certain extent. Yeah. See? It depends. To a certain extent. We should play a game. And to who? If you're, if you're all wifey, we should play a game. Yeah. Um, let's play a game. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, you'll play a game? Yeah. How yeah. Many, so, wait, how many girls think they're wife material? All of you? All of them. I did not say that. I said you to a certain extent. Are and then halfway. I agreed so, to you her. were saying the same thing, just I you don't want to raise your hand. Is it, it's try. a yes or no. Are you wife material or not? It depends. Like Yes or no? It depends on the person. Like some, for some. Adios mio. Yes or no? Do you think men in general would see you as a wifeable candidate? Not all of them. Depends if, like... <sighs> Would a majority? Let's play a game. It just really depends. So. Would a man that has options that's attractive find you as a wifeable candidate? How about that? Depends how I act with them. No, but if they knew about your past and everything else, and they knew you, do you think they'd consider you a wifeable candidate? With my ex, yeah. Like it, the people your, that your ex wasn't a like a yeah, but I did uh, everything for that guy. Yeah, but I'm talking about a guy that actually has options. Your your ex was a loser <laughs> on paper. Sorry, no offense. <laughs> yeah, he's which you. is why you didn't respect him. But the, the, I'm talking about a guy that you actually would find desirable that has options that can replace you. Do you think he would see you as wife material? Yeah, if I act like it. Yeah, yeah if I act like it. This okay, incredible. We can play a game. Stop Bro. the cow. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> But before we do that, yo, some chats and today's Holy, sponsor. Yo, there, 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 so much was revealed in that line of questioning just now. We had to pull teeth to get answers, bro. Damn, like pull long teeth. That's crazy. Um, chats and uh, today's sponsor. And bro, then, it's funny because they mentioned the green flags. The guys had these green flags, and they still <laughs> left them. <laughs> and they didn't or, see the red flags, or, or they picked the guy that didn't have any of these flags. <sighs> Isn't it telling? They don't know what they want, bro. Holy, okay. Um, Man, there's so much thing, stuff on my mind. We got to hit chats and then... Uh, Today's sponsor. And then the sponsor and then hold on. There was something else. The game. Oh, ratings and then the game. Ratings the and then the game. We had a calculator. Oh, the calculator. Bam. Yeah, pull up the calculator real quick before we move on. Okay. I got I, I, uh, I got to go through this real quick for the girls that say they want a six-foot guy. Because um, cause you said you think it's 10%, 15%, 20%, 30%. Yeah, you said 25% and then 40% of men are over six feet tall. But so let's start with, let's, uh, let's, let's. I can't wait to see how the chat right. feels about them. So Ooh, here's a, here's a, your dream man calculator. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to.